presented by the University of West Florida. Argonaut. The play, or opera, was originally written back in the turn of the century, the turn of the 20th century, so back in the late 1800s. It's a great story. We got pirates. We have romance. We have a major general. We're going to do a little bit of singing, a little bit of dancing. And also, finding your sense of duty. <laughs> Guys, what's so funny? What's so funny? You just said duty. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, that will set the tone of the show right here, all right? So here we go. University of West Florida, Argonauts presents the Pirates of Presents. Young, 
supple, limber, tight twitch Frederick was just as talented as young boy as he is today. Why, thank you, dear Ruth. Oh, oh, that's... <laughs> oh. oh, continue, wench! <laughs> when Frederick was a little lad, he proved so brave and daring. His father thought he'd apprentice him to some career seafaring. I was a lass, his nursery maid, and so it fell to my lot to be taken by this promising boy, apprentice to a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I was a stupid nursery maid, just a bit overbearing, and I did not hear the word all right because of my bad hearing. Mistake. Instructions which within my brain did gyrate. <laughs> I took in bound this promising boy apprentice to a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> she bound him to a pirate. Boy, instead of to a pilot. Oh. Driving the ships? Ha! I was an idiot woman, but now we are here. Twelve years later with the most vile lot of pirates I could find. So let me get this straight. You, Ruth, were told by Frederick's father to apprentice him to a pilot. But he thought he said pirate. So you brought him to us? Yes, that's right. Oh, pardon me, my dear master. It's all right, sweet Ruth. I have long forgiven you. It's just the two words. They sounded so much alike. They did. They still do. <laughs> this afternoon, my obligation to you all is over. I love each and every one of you, but when I look at you as a, at a hole, it makes me sick. Oh, boy. Please, take pity on me. It's only that my sense of duty is so strong that when my contract expires, I must see that you are all killed. What? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me clarify one more thing. Yes. So you, Frederick, according to this contract here, were bound to us until your 20th birthday, which is today. Yes. And so, because you were not originally meant to serve as a pirate, you must leave us today and see us dead by tomorrow. Yes, that sounds about right. Thank you for the clarification, Sam. Oh. <laughs> well, if that's how you really feel, it is your duty to destroy us. We cannot blame you. <laughs> Life is like an ice cream cube. <laughs> you must enjoy it before it melts. Yeah. Yeah. And besides, I can't see why, given the choice, you'd want to stay. We smell bad, we eat seagulls on a regular basis, and we have no money. I don't see why this always seems to happen. I do, but I would rather not say. Don't want things to end on a bad note. Why not, my boy? It's only. 11.52. And you're one of us until the clock strikes noon. True. And until then, you're bound to serve our interests. Here, here, here. Since I am still a pirate, I must tell you that you are the biggest bunch of pansy pirates I have ever seen. What? Yo, pirates are stuffed animal. <laughs> Gus, you play with plastic swords. You never win any battles, and you make it quite clear to never attack anyone who is an orphan? Of course, we are orphans ourselves, and know what it's like. But word has gotten around, my friend. Don't you know that four out of the last five pirate ships we've encountered were made up entirely of orphans? Come on, guys. Frederico, do not have us be completely menacing I wouldn't if I stayed, but I would when I leave. What a pickle. And what is it to become of your dear Ruth, whom you love so much? Oh, he would touch you with him. Yes. See, now, dear Ruth, I am in a bit of a conundrum. You see, I have been on this ship since I was a child of eight, and yours is the only womanly face I've ever seen. I, I think it's a sweet face. It is. Oh, it is. I think it is. Would you, would you please excuse me for a second? Guys, up. How awful would it be if I were to marry this woman and find out later that she is, well, ugly. Ugly? <laughs> oh, Ruth is very well. Well. Oh, yes, very well indeed. Yes, the remains of our fine woman about her. Do you really think so? I do. Well then, I must not be so selfish as to take her from you. I will let you go. No, 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 no,
I have to take away from you your one true love. And I think I'm right in saying that there is not one here who would rob you of this treasure. Not one! No, I thought there wasn't. Go fetch the game, my dear. Well, it's the top of the tide, and we must be up. Le Belloc! La Grande Voile! La Guinée d'Avant! Excellent, excellent, excellent. What are you talking about? Farewell for next! When your mission to kill the pirates begins, it's our death to be as sweet and painless as you can continue to. I will! By the love I have for you, I swear it! If only you could come to civilization with me. No, Frederick. I shall live and die a pirate too. Run the fire king! I must be off. For I am a pirate king. Run the fire king! the rest of my years with you. Ruth, tell me honestly, compared to other women, how are you? I will tell you truthfully, Master. I have a bit of a cold, but other than that, I'm quite well. I am sorry about your cold, but I was actually talking about your physical appearance. Are you considered beautiful? Oh, I have been told so, yes. Great! But, but lately. That was many, many years ago. And what do you think of yourself? I think I'm a fine woman. <laughs> Most of the time. Well, if you say so, then I must believe you. I know you would never lie to me. Oh, oh, I hear voices. Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. Oh, my goodness, it's a whole flock of beautiful maidens. They look so fit. Oh, cool. And you, you who I mistook for a beauty, you are nothing but an old sack of lies. Now it is your words that are turning ugly, master. No, it is your face, your wrinkles and Gray hair. Well, they weren't always this way. Faithless woman, leave me. I cannot stand to look at your grotesque form anymore. You are a pirate's worst nightmare. You are a sunken chest with no booty. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. flat as my hair. Oh, yeah. It sure is nice on such a hot afternoon. Yeah. I hope Father doesn't mind that we wandered off to some enchanting spot. We are all alone, it seems. How nice. I have a naughty idea, sister. Let's take off our stockings and dip our feet into the water. Oh, Isabel! You are so naughty. <laughs> I must reveal myself to you in this ridiculous pirate costume to tell you that you are being watched. Who are you? Well, a pirate. A pirate? A whore? I must also tell you that I was relieved of my duties earlier today. Please, take pity on my heart. Beautiful, 
seaside. Unicorn. He called us unicorns. I only ask that one of you take me as your lover. It does not matter if you have the face of a horse or the complexion of a jellyfish. I vow to love you forever. How dare you insult us? No, none of us will give our love to an expired fool such as yourself. Come on, sister. Let's put our shoes and socks on so we can leave this fool. Watch your tongue, Isabel. How dare you speak to such a man like this? Can you not take pity on this poor pirate booty? For shame on you both. Sorry, Mabel. Oh, hello there, poor wandering one. Is that buried treasure in your pocket? Or are you just happy to oh, see me? Oh, oh, wait. It's actually just buried treasure. Oh. <laughs> Rarest beauty, gentle kindness, finest affection. I believe these films can best be described in song. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to stop you there. Quite a lovely tune that was. But there are more pirates on the way. Come, quick! Pirates! Pirates! Oh. 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 Hello, ladies! Come on, come on, mates! If you have to double up, so be it! Great idea. Monsters, I command you all to stop at once. Just bear in mind that our father is a major general. Not a major general! Yes! I'm a major general! <laughs> 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 Knock me off my lofty perch. <laughs> I am the very model of a general here in Manitou. I was raised in Boca, where there isn't much of people know. I just go to school for knowledge, I have known in four degrees. I was raised on the HGTV, DVD, and MP3. Oh, Jay, from Reveille to Tuts, I'm always very busy planning. For the day I run this place, you all must do my commanding. Someone tried to know a bill to knock me off my lofty perch. But there is no one smarter, for I am a human Google search. There is no one smarter, for he is a human Google search. There is no one smarter, for he is a human Google search. There is no one smarter, for he is a human Google search. Well, I've been writing all my modest spice and shit since I was three. Though I will not be a dude until at least 2017. In years past, I haven't known to challenge female generals. No more wearing wigs this year, I am the Major General. No more wearing wigs this year, he is the Major General. No more wearing wigs this year, he is the Major General. In short and mad and sports related, I know all there is to know. I am the very model of a general here at Manitou. <laughs> Now that I've introduced myself, <laughs> what is going on here? I can explain in two words. We would like to marry your daughter, sir. Against their wills, father. Oh, heavens. May I ask? <laughs> this is a rather peculiar costume. Who are you? We are single gentlemen. <laughs> well, yes, of course. Anything else? Papa, don't believe them. They're the famous Pirates of Penzance. The Pirates of Penzance? I have. What are these fellows? No, but except for dear Frederick here. He was a pirate, but was relieved of his duties earlier today. How convenient! But this cannot be! I reject pirates, his son-in-laws! We object to Major General, as Father you know, but we look over it. <laughs> An idea! But would you rob little old me of my dear daughters and leave me to suffer the rest of my life alone? Yes, that's the point. Oh. <laughs> but you don't know how it feels to be an orphan. Oh. Yes, orphan. Do you know how it feels? Orphan to the ship. Oh. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, excuse me. I don't think we quite understand one another. I ask you, do you know how it feels to be an orphan? And you simply replied, Pardon to show that you understand me. I did not repeat the word often. Pardon me, you did indeed. No, I only repeated it once. True, but you repeated it. But often. I think I see what we are getting confused here. Did you say orphan? A person who has lost 
is Paris. Or often, frequently. Oh, I beg pardon. I see what you mean. Frequently. Oh, you said often frequently. No, only once. Exactly, you said often frequently, only once! <laughs> People really need to communicate better in this Sister, world. mom! Stop. Have pity on me. I am but an orphan boy. Oh. oh. My dear daughters, are all I have left. Please, do not take them from me. Oh, poor fellow. Understand, the soul of an orphan is a delicate thing. These daughters are the only precious pearls that in my oyster shell. Oh, enough, 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 enough. <laughs> we may look like hairy monsters, but our hearts are as fragile as kittens. You may go, our parrot rules protect you. And I think we shall elect you as honorary member of our private bed. Yeah. Hurrah for the orphan boy. Hurrah. ourselves from these pitiful spirits. We are pirates. We do not need Frederick to carry on. Remember when he used to do that trick with his thumb? He'd make it slide on and off. I mean, every time. Oh. <laughs> or when he would say, what's behind your ear? And then pull a coin out of it. Oh, oh. oh that boy. He should have been a magician. If only he could return with his magic and make us Oh, again. Captain, Captain, I think I see someone coming towards us in the distance. Is it a man? I can't quite make it out. Oh. oh, dear God, it's Ruth. Maybe she has news of Frederick. Oh, yes. Okay, man. Man up. We get that you're serious at this. I must sit down. What is it, woman? And we are not with Frederick. Oh, it was horrible. He fought a whole flock of beautiful maidens, and he left me behind. No. Yes. Too bad he won't experience my goodness. Well, <laughs> what are you going to do? Just sit down and let him get away? What else can I do? He's got such a sense of duty that even the Pope's jealous. Curse that duty of his. Listen, Ruth, we are nothing but Frederick. And we need to find some way to get him back. Now, is there something in that brain of yours that will turn his duty back to us? Perhaps we take a closer look at the contract. Oh, thank Maybe you, we can find something here. Let's see. This was signed by myself and Ruth here on May 17th, 1876, stating that until Frederick's 20th birthday, he would serve as a pirate. Born on February 29th, 1864, and today is February 29th, 1884. All seems right there. I knew that boy was special when he was born in a leap year. Huh? And what is a leap year? A leap year is a year in which they add an extra day to synchronize with the seasons. It happens once roughly every four years. They add it at the end of February to make it from 28 days to 29. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> Frederick was born on the 29th of February, which occurs only once every four years. So therefore, counting by his actual birthdays, he's only five years old, nowhere near a man of 20. Oh, oh God, thank you, here, Samuel. Looks like we have ourselves a paradox. A most extraordinary paradox. We're off to the paradox. <laughs> <laughs>
every night. Can we not do anything to cheer you up? I can pick my nose with my big toe. Oh, oh, oh. oh Frederick, cannot you, in the calm essence of your wisdom, reconcile your conscience to say something to relieve my father's sorrow? What? Can't you cheer him up? Oh, why, yes. Why does he sit there all night acting so miserable? I'll tell you why I am so miserable. I cannot escape the guilt I feel. I am a liar. I told those pirates I was an orphan, and I was a liar. Now, don't think of it like that. You did what you had to do in order to save your daughters. Those savages would never have let them go. Dear Frederick, I thank you for trying, but the remorse I feel is too great. If I had the courage, I would march right up to the pirate king and tell him the truth. Oh. When are you planning your attack on the pirates of Panzans? Very soon. If all goes according to plan, I should have them all slaughtered by midnight. And then married to my dear Lizzie. I mean, made up by tomorrow. <laughs> well, then I can't give you my breath. Frederick, I take it you're disgusted to our police force? Yes, indeed. They should be here any minute. <laughs> what? Here they are now. In your book. <laughs> there is nothing brings it round like the trumpet marshal sound, like the trumpet marshal sound. <laughs> for the greater good. Ooh. And we will make sure that all of your lifeless, mangled bodies are all to be buried properly. Go, heroes, and die! <laughs> ladies, ladies, ladies. Now, I know you have the best of intentions, mm -hmm. but these men are just a tad nervous, and your choice of words is not helping the situation. Now, back in line, men. Yes, off we go, off we go. And off we go. I shall bring up the reef. And off we go. And off we go. And off we go. Don't you in the Zion! May you return quickly and safely back into my arms. It is my duty and honor to your neighbor. life of plundering and thievery. They thought they could punish my sense of duty, but they were so very incredibly... Frederick, guess who? <laughs> George Washington. Nope. French accent, uh, Napoleon. Comment, Napoleon? Tu oses? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, who is it? It's me, your pirate king. And I, your little rude. How dare you show your faces here? Don't you know I'm supposed to come attack you? Great. Now the surprise is ruined. I ought to have mercy on this. And why should I? Don't you know it is my duty to destroy you? Oh, <laughs> you earned your duty. I have had enough. I spat on your duty. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, kill me with your duty. You say so. <laughs> oh, I can't. Please, come sit. Tell me why you are here. I will start. Ever since you abandoned us, we have spent our days sobbing by the seashore. Yes, it was quite pathetic, actually. We went through an extremely emotional 
existential crisis. <laughs> we sat all day at a cafe, drinking authentic Bordeaux wine and <laughs> reading books by Camus, Balzac, Sartre. <laughs> it wasn't until someone brought out your contract that we were able to put two and two together to discover a paradox. A paradox? A most ingenious paradox. What is a paradox? Oh, it's like the grandma killer time machine thing. Suppose you built the time machine. Go back when your grandma was an infant, around three years old, and killed her in a bathtub. So she, has, so she never has any kids. Therefore, you were never born. Therefore, you never went back in time and killed her. Therefore, she did grow up, and therefore she did have kids, and therefore you were born. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. My mind just explodes. Perhaps you should just tell him the one we talked about. Here we go. For some ridiculous reason, someone decided that there were enough beastly days in February. So every four years, an extra day is added to make 29 days in February. Yes, continue. Well, you're the victim of a leap year. And simple math, simple, simple, very simple. Simple math will show that although you have lived for 20 years, you're a boy of five, not 20. Oh, 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 I am a boy of five. Boy, I sure don't look like a boy of five. Oh, you sure don't. Oh, what a funny paradox. Oh, oh, oh. I want you guys to talk. you. Think of the horror you would have felt yeah. if, you discover, if you discover this after killing two of your kids. Whoa, 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 whoa. Comrades. Don't you see? You are contracted to us. Until I reach my 20th year. No, 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 no. Your 20th birthday. What are you talking about? Look, I have a contract. I contract with Frederick. Damn old Dinglish! You're not gonna actually hold me to that, are you? Oh, no, no, no. We just wanted to let you know. We only ask that you consider your sense of duty. Yes. What would duty do? Oh, damn you, <laughs> paradoxical paradox, dutiful duty, Miss Honorary Honor! Duty must rise above all! I will do my duty. <laughs> Bravely spoken! Come. You are a parrot of penance once more. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 horror! What's the matter? To tell, to not tell, to tell, to not tell. Oh, I must tell. I'm a band once more. It is my duty. Out with it! You know the major of my, the major general, father of my bride to be Mabel. He told you he was an orphan. He did? Oh, yes, he did. I was there, I remember. <laughs> well? Well, he's not. He's not what? He's not an, or an, an orphan. What? Hold it. When you say orphan, do you mean orphan as in a person with no parents or orphan as in frequency? <laughs> he has no parents. What? And one more thing. No, I can't. Oh, 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 oh. He never was one. <sighs> oh, how dare he lie to us. Our revenge will be swift and painful. Let's get the others so we can attack them. He's doomed! Oh! 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 Away! Away! until my 20th birthday. Yes, and you just turned 20. Not technically. I was born in the year of leap and I am technically only five years old. I will not be relieved of my services until 1940. Oh my, oh my, I'm in love with a younger man. <laughs> but what are we to do, Frederick? I must be off. Oh no, Frederick, please stay. I will be back in 1940. Promise you will wait for me. Oh, 
Wow. No. It just seems really far away. It's only 1884 now. That's over 50 years that a man. Promise you will stay true. I will stay strong. Let me sing to you before you go. <laughs> Sorry, love. Kind of in a rush here. When duty calls, I must answer. 50 years. I better find a hobby. The police, I must tell them. Ultimately inclined. Da, da, da. And anything but blind. Da, 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 da. To the dangers that's behind. Da, 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 da. Yet when the danger's near, da, 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 da. we manage to appear. Da, 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 da. As insensible to fear as anybody here. As anybody here. We shall dance, shall we? So lead you. He has eyed himself once more with his old associates, pirates. He's acted shamefully. You know nothing about it. He has acted nobly. Okay, okay, he acted nobly. He has done his duty. I will do mine. Now go forth and do yours. Right ho! Disgusting. <laughs> Well, this is perplexing. We cannot understand it at all. Still, he is actuated by the sense of... <laughs> <laughs> Duty. <laughs> what do we do now? Our cause is clear. Instead of fighting with him, we will fight against him. I think I hear the pirates coming now. Quick, Sergeant, what's the plan? Uh, we must do what any respectable officer would do, right? Hide! <laughs> Get in the box. Get in the box. Go down to the box. Go down. Yeah. We got one. We got one. We got two. Oh, I think they're coming. They are right there. Down. Get down. Yes. Oh, boy, they are on the stage now. <laughs> We must attack with stealth and get that trade. MC Moby, do what you do best. Drop the beat. Who <laughs> 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 we are, the parts of a band. Who <laughs> <laughs> we kill, the general man. <laughs> While we kill him, he <laughs> don't or van. Imagination getting the best of me. I'll just sit here and find a place to rest from all my worries. I'll sing the sweet song my mother always used to sing to me. 
gosh, little general, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a pirate bird. And if that pirate bird won't die, <laughs> Mama's gonna buy you a pirate pie. And if that pirate pie is too much juice, Mama's gonna buy you a pirate noose. Father, what are you doing out here? Put your nightgown. Oh, Put this on and go to bed. I, I'm fine, ladies, please. I so are my men! And she's the dead at all! Frederick! What are you doing in that silly pirate's costume? This is no time for dress up. Where's the police squad? It's complicated, sir. Oh, Frederick! Save us, please! If I could, I would. But I can't. He's a pirate once again, you scalawag! You thought you could lag to a parrot and get away with it? You were wrong! Oh, is there anyone out there who can save us? Please spare us! We are here! Out, my man, out! One, one, two, three, two, Now we are here! We must hide, wenches! There's about to be a duel! A one, a two, a one, two, three, four! Oh no. <laughs> Looks like you've got for now, but your glory will be short lived. Don't even try to use the old finish cue. We have been fooled too many times before. How about this one? We demand you surrender in Queen Victoria's name. Oh, you do? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> We love our queen! A cracking skull and crossbones. Men, let's take them to jail. Wait! Wait. Ah. Interesting, very interesting situation we've got on our hands here. I say, you have all shown great class for being pirates. Let's distribute my girls among your men. You pirate king! You can have the first pick. And then it's all out of celebration, eh? Let's all be pirates! Sounds like you're a fine idea to me! <laughs> Eddie! <Hey, dear. laughs> Dutiful! <laughs> Mabel! Oh, God. Oh, sweet baby Ruth! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, the boy, the pirate bunch! We are a very merry bunch! We are proud of our pirate race!
thank yous. Uh, the Wu-Tang Clan, the Academy, Grace and Lufton. Well, Grace on! <laughs> uh, we'd uh, like to talk, thank all the judges, campers, and counselors for uh, being a great audience. Uh, for their amazing work on the set and costumes, we'd like to thank Adam, Crystal, Evan, Rachel, and Nick. Happy birthday to Queen Victoria herself, Thea, if you could come out here. It's her birthday today, so... 21st, 21st birthday. We would uh, like to thank Argo coaches, Slitsky, Bobby, Gail, Spencer, and Xavier for the set. Uh, big thanks to the Pirate players. Huge thanks to Jorge Lostra, he built that thing. And uh, massive thanks to Jackie, who made this all possible. Yeah, Jackie! Yeah, Jackie. Yeah, Jackie. Yeah, Jackie. Yeah. One more thing. Argo what? Argo not! Argo what?